Video Friday with Art Resin. Hey guys, it's Video Friday. So it's the first week of October and that means fall crafts and Halloween crafts. So last week on Video Friday, I showed you some of these super cute little castings that Jasmine had made here using these silicone molds. Well, she's been very busy. She's also made this super cool wreath. Um, and what she did was a tinted um, art resin and she laid out really thin sheets. She put some glitter in there and then she cut out leaves and then used a glue gun on a wreath frame to make this cool wreath here. But I love this one. Look at what she did. She used this skeleton um, silicone mold, added glow in the dark pigment, a powder to the epoxy resin and came out with this glow in the dark skeleton. So this is what she did here. We've got our epoxy resin. We've got 200 milliliters here of art resin. Remember when you add any colorant, whether it's resin tint or acrylic or alcohol ink or a powder pigment, you don't want to add more than 6% of the total volume of resin and hardener. So I've got 200 mil here of um, resin and hardener combined. So I'm going to add about 10 mil. I guess it could be 12, but I'm going to put about two teaspoons. Okay. In here. So just grab your spreader, mix that pigment in, okay? And once you have it mixed up, then we're just going to pour it into our molds. Okay, so since Jasmine did this skeleton already, I think I'm going to make myself a glow-in-the-dark skull. <laughs> now, I'm going to contradict myself a little bit here. I normally always tell you only pour in layers, pour one-eighth of an inch, and the reason is because bubbles don't have a chance to rise to the surface to get torched out. But I'll tell you what, you can see here, on this one. See, there are bubbles, but this is the top is actually the back, right? So I'm not going to worry too much in this instance because this is the back. We're not going to see them. Okay, so I'm just going to pour. Where's my skull? There he is. I'm not going to fill. <laughs> I'm not going to fill it all the way up. And maybe I'll do a ghost. I think a ghost would look super cool, glow in the dark. <laughs> And what do you think, Jeff? You want a bat? Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Batter up. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. Jeff's really punny. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy. So there you go. You get the idea, right? So when these cure, we're going to pop them out and we're going to have something similar to this glow in the dark Halloween decoration. That's it. So lots of fun to be had with resin tint and art resin for all of your crafting holiday needs. And that's it. We'll see you next week on Video Friday. Video Friday with our resin. Ah, oh, thank God that's over. And happy Thanksgiving, Canada.